Schizophrenia is a serious brain disorder that disorders the way a person thinks, acts, expresses emotions, perceives reality, and relates. So I'm in approximately 1.1% of the world's population. Approximately 3.5 million people in the United States are diagnosed with schizophrenia and is one of the leading causes of disability. Three quarters of people with schizophrenia develop the illness between 16 and 25 years of age. The disorder is partially genetic and 50% of people diagnosed with schizophrenia have received no treatment. Parts of the brain have been found to be different in schizophrenia patients. Two areas have received the most clinical attention. The first are the frontal lobes of the brain, which are the areas directly behind the forehead that are responsible for planning and problem solving. This area is among the last to completely mature normal individuals. Problems in frontal lobe functioning may appear as difficulties in concentration and attention. Many schizophrenia patients appear to have these problems. One task by which researchers can study frontal lobe function is called the Wisconsin card sort test. In the Wisconsin card sort test, participants are asked to look at cards and sort them according to color, shape, or number. The test administrator will not tell the participant the rule by which they should sort the card, but will tell them if they are sorting correctly. Someone without frontal lobe damage will try to sort according to one rule, perhaps number, but will change to shape or color until the administrator tells them that they are correct. After the participants sort a few cards, the test administrator changes the rule, and now the participants must try to figure out the new rule. Most people have no problem with this task. They will change from number to color or shape until the administrator tells them that they are correct. But for someone with schizophrenia or another form of frontal lobe damage, the rule change can present a real challenge. These patients keep sorting the cards according to the old rule, a process called perservation. When researchers study brain activity while a patient is participating in the Wisconsin card sort challenge, they find that there is decreased activity in the frontal lobes in patients with schizophrenia relative to normal healthy patients. Another part of the brain that may be implicated in schizophrenia is the thalamus. The thalamus is a small oblong collection of sensory and motor processing areas in the center of the brain. The circulatory that connects the thalamus with other areas of the brain include the frontal lobe and the cerebellum may be impaired in patients with schizophrenia. Some researchers believe that the thalamic pathways may be implicated in a number of schizophrenic symptoms. Symptoms of schizophrenia fall into three broad categories, positive symptoms, negative symptoms, and cognitive symptoms. Positive symptoms are psychotic behaviors not seen in healthy people. People with positive symptoms often lose touch with reality. These symptoms can come and go. Hallucinations are things a person sees, hears, feels, or smells that no one else can hear, see, feel, or smell. Voices are the most common type of hallucination in schizophrenia. Many people with the disorder hear voices. This is an example of what a person might hear that has schizophrenia. symptoms. Delusions are false beliefs that are not a part of the person's culture and do not change. The person believes delusions even after other people prove that the beliefs are not true or logical. People with schizophrenia can have delusions that seem bizarre, such as believing that neighbors can control their behavior with magnetic waves. They may also believe that people on television are directing special messages to them or that radio stations are broadcasting their thoughts aloud to others. Sometimes they believe that they are someone else, such as a famous historical figure. They may have paranoid delusions and believe that others are trying to harm them, such as cheating, harassing, poisoning, spying on them, or plotting against them or the people they care about. These beliefs are called delusions of persecution.